hello friends, it's Miss Morris again with some more color coding. So in our last video, we talked about how color coding can help you remember all the parts of speech. And I told you to make a key on your paper. For the purposes of multi-sensory grammar and coding, we're gonna keep with the same colors. So our nouns are going to be yellow. And remember, a noun is a person, place, or thing. Verbs are going to be orange. A verb is a word, it's an action word. And our adjectives are going to be blue. Adjectives describe nouns and they tell what kind and how many. So in our last video, we coded a sentence that was similar to this one. Carlos stacked the large boxes. We started by finding our nouns. Carlos is not is a noun because it's a person. Boxes is also a noun, something that we can touch. The second thing we did was find our action word. What did Carlos do? Ah, he stacked. That's our verb. Finally, we had to find the adjectives. In order to find the adjective, you have to find the noun. The first noun, Carlos, there's nothing describing it. Carlos does not have an adjective in front of it. But the second noun, boxes, there is a word that describes boxes. What kind of boxes? Large boxes. I also like to connect my adjective to the noun that it describes. It kind of makes a little rainbow. Lastly, I have to chop my sentence into two, separating the subject from the predicate. The subject, it tells who or what, who stacked the boxes. Carlos. And what did he do? He stacked the large boxes. I chop my sentence right between Carlos and stacked. I label the subject with an S and the predicate phrase with a P. Now, if you did not have any colors and you wanted to color code your sentence, you could do it like this. Kate solved the hard math problem. Well, the first noun that I see is Kate. I can mark my noun with an N. The second noun that I see is math problem. What did Kate do? She solved the hard problem. Solved is our verb. Now I have to see if there's any adjectives in the sentence. When I touch Kate, I see there's no words to describe her. So I touch my second noun, problem. Wow, I have two different adjectives that describe problem. First is that the problem is a hard problem. Hard tells me what kind of problem it is, but there's another word that tells me what kind of problem. It's a math problem. This lets me know that it's not an English language problem, that it's not a reading problem. It's a hard math problem. And I can still connect my adjectives with the noun that they, can, that they describe. I can also label my subject and predicate. Who solved the hard math problem? That's right, it was Kate. And what did she do? She solved the hard math problem. Kate is my subject and solved the hard math problem becomes my predicate. Now, because Ms. Morris has her colors ready, I'm gonna go ahead and code this. My nouns are going to be yellow. My verb is going to be orange. And my adjectives are going to be blue. I'm going to tell you what to do with the word the in another video coming out soon. But for right now, we'll leave our sentences as they are. 
you did a great job listening. You're going to code the rest of um, the rest of this paper on your own. There's some tricky words like the word enthusiastic and the word audience. If you need help with a word, let a grown up or your teacher know. Okay, we want you to be able to understand what you're reading. Have fun coding. Bye.